Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do the revision class in the crash course for Bank of Maharashtra Journalist Officer 2023 exam. So in today's class mein what we are going to do uh, that would be a random class for professional knowledge. So professional knowledge ki class aaj hum kar rahe hain. We are going to do combination of quizzes and uh, uh, concept uh, slides. तो काफ़ी इम्पॉर्टेंट जो मुझे लगता है रेंजिंग फ्रॉम अ लॉट ऑफ टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम आर बी आई सर्कुलर्स टू इवन स्टार्टअप बैंकिंग काफ़ी सारे टॉपिक्स आज हम कवर करेंगे विद इन लाइक ट्वेंटी फाइव मिनट्स अ लॉट ऑफ टॉपिक्स वी आर गोइंग टू कवर सो दिस इज पार्ट ऑफ दिस क्लास इज पार्ट ऑफ क्रैश कॉर्स एंड आई एम गोइंग टू अपलोड इट ऑन यूट्यूब सो यू कैन ज्वाइन द क्रैश कॉर्स ऑन बैंक एग्जाम स्टडी डॉट कॉम इन विच वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग द वीडियो क्लासेज द नोट्स क्वेजेज द टेस्ट सीरीज द कम्प्लीट सिलेबस इज पार्ट ऑफ द कॉर्स एंड राइट नाउ वी आर ऑफरिंग अ सेवन डेज पास सो सेवन डेज पास इज ऑल्सो अवेलेबल ऑन बैंक एग्जाम स्टडी डॉट कॉम सो विच इज़ अवेलेबल जस्ट फॉर टू थाउजेंड रुपीज़ सो आई थिंक वी वी डिजर्व इट फॉर द हार्ड वर्क दैट वी हैव डन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट लेट मी जस्ट हाइड माई सेल्फ so that you can concentrate on the content wherever possible uh, you can take the screenshots okay uh, wherever you feel like take the screenshots otherwise uh, i'm going to provide this ppt on uh, on my course and even i'm going to send email to all the students so don't worry <coughs> no need to just uh, you know uh, note down anything so rbi is integrated ombudsman scheme this is a 3 months old rbi circular now it is expanded to internal ombudsman uh, now the cics the credit information companies are also included in the integrated ombudsman scheme so what happened in the past there were separate ombudsman for uh, rrbs and commercial banks and small finance banks but now rbi said okay we just need to integrated ombudsman scheme ek ombudsman hona chahiye and now the credit information companies are part of it okay so sabhi जो जो भी आर जिसको भी रेगुलेट करता है वो सारे अब इंटीग्रेटेड वुमेंस बैंक स्कीम के अंडर आएंगे एंड नाउ द क्रेडिट इन्फॉर्मेशन कंपनीज आर अंडर द स्कोप ऑफ इंटीग्रेटेड वुमेंस बैंक स्कीम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थोड़ा सा रैंडम है सो दिस पर्टिकुलर क्विज इज नॉट रिलेटेड टू वट आई हैव टॉट बट आई होप यू हैव ऑलरेडी गॉन थ्रू प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर लैंडिंग स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू हैव नॉट गॉन थ्रू द प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर लैंडिंग का टॉपिक आई हैव ऑलरेडी डन दैट इन द कॉस डिटेल में and you can expect two questions from priority sector lending every year there are two questions from this particular topic you can read it from the rbi's official website or you can read it in the course i recommend you to please read the latest circular do not watch 6 months 7 months old video even mine meri bhi ko purani 8 9 mahine purani video na dekhe there are a lot of updates and questions are asked from the updates only सो एडवांसेज टू वीकर सेक्शन का टारगेट कितना है फॉर कमर्शियल बैंक इट इज़ ट्वेल्व परसेंट हाउ मच इट इज़ इट इज़ ट्वेल्व परसेंट प्लीज़ रिमेंबर दैट ओके सो पूरा जो है आप लेक्चर देखें प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर लैंडिंग का दैट इज़ रियली रियली इम्पॉर्टेंट दिस क्वेश्चन पर्टिकुलर दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज आस्ट इन प्रीवियस पेपर ये एग्जैक्टली यही क्वेश्चन प्रीवियस पेपर में आया था प्रीवियस पेपर में दो क्वेश्चन आए थे दो क्वेश्चन आए थे बैंक ऑफ महाराष्ट्र में प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर लैंडिंग से सो इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक हर एग्जाम में स्केल टू स्केल थ्री के दो क्वेश्चन आते हैं प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर लैंडिंग से याद रखें सो ट्वेल्व परसेंट फॉर कमर्शियल बैंक फिफ्टीन परसेंट फॉर आर आर बीस ट्वेल्व परसेंट फॉर स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक ओके सो प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट दैट्स रियली रियली इंपॉर्टेंट ओके एज पर द लेटेस्ट प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर गाइडलाइंस a higher weight would be assigned to the in incremental priority sector uh, credit in the identified district where credit flow is comparatively low so let me explain that in easy language see students what happened in few districts a lot of psl loans were given kuch district mein bahut sare psl loan diye gaye kuch ek mein bilkul nahi diye gaye so obviously rbi wants equality ki sab jagah barabar barabar diye jaye so what rbi did that uh, rbi identified the districts where uh, less psl loans were given kam diye gaye the loan so in those places rbi said if per capita uh, priority sector loan given is less than 6000 that means zyada nahi diye comparatively less loans are given here 
if it is more than more than per capita PSL is more than 25,000 that means excessive PSL loans were distributed here. So what RBI said, if low, uh, you know, rate of the uh, priority sector loans have been given, then uh, the weightage of the loan, ab jitna bhi loan diya hai, that would be 125%. If a branch has given 10 crore rupee of uh, priority sector uh, loans, and in th that particular district is identified as, uh, you know, uh, as a district where less PSL loans were given, then this would be considered as 125% of 10 crores. So 12.5% would be considered towards achievement of priority sector lending guidelines. PSL ka lending a target hai na 40% uh, commercial banks ka, 75% uh, ka RRBs or small finance bank ka. So towards that, what 12.5% would be considered. Uski taraf uh, saade bara karod mana jayega. If it is more, uh, if the uh, that particular district, PSL per capita PSL is uh, 25,000, uh, more than 25,000, then it is 90%. So ye no crore mana jayega. Okay, so please remember that. That's really, really important. Yehi likha hai, isme bhi kuch naya nahi hai. Please yaad rakhein. What is the applicable limit for bank loans for building social infrastructure for setting up schools, drinking water facilities, sanitation facilities under the priority sector lending? So limit hai obviously, right? For education loans, 20 lakhs ka limit hai. Please yaad rakhe, pichle uh, exams mein aata, education loans PSL ke under hai. Limit hai 20 lakhs. Okay, PSL pura padh le, to yaad samaj mein aajayega. For social infrastructure, the limit is 5 crore rupees per borrower. 5 crore per borrower is the limit. Okay. Minimum capital requirement for setting up an asset construction reconstruction company. Minimum asset requirement is 300 crore rupees is the minimum asset requirement to set up a asset reconstruction company. It used to be 100 crore, but now it is 300 crores. Okay. Recently, RBI allowed the small finance banks to operate as category one authorized dealer. <clears throat> Which of the following condition as the SFB small finance bank they need to fulfill to operate as a category one authorized dealer are incorrect. It's Mr. Galat kya hai? Very important. So if you have not gone through, uh, agar aapne ye nahi pada to mushkil hai obviously to ye uh, agar aapne nahi pada to uh, all of the above are actually correct. So please read it. <clears throat> the bank should have completed at least two years as a category two authorized dealer, which foreign exchange mein kaam karte hain. So a category one hai, category two hai, kam se kam do saal as a category two nikaal liye ho. The bank should have been included in second schedule of RBA Act 1934. It should have a minimum net worth of 500 crores, 500 crore ka minimum net worth. Its CRAR should be should not be less than 15%. The net NP of the bank should not exceed 6%. It should have made profit in the preceding two years. It should have made profit in the preceding two years and it should not have defaulted in maintenance of CRR SLR in previous two years. And it should have sound internal control systems. It should not have any major regulatory and supervisory concern. Ye kuch ek, uh, requirements hai. I hope that everything is very clear to you. Ko default nahi hona chahiye. CRR, SLR mein, uh, no issues in the regulatory uh, in regulatory concerns. Kuch regulatory issues nahi hona chahiye. So these are the requirements that a small finance bank need to fulfill uh, to, to get the category one's uh, license from RBI. So important hai. So RBI enabled BBPS to the NRIs uh, to make, uh, you know, bill payments, which NRIs hai, for them, BBPS has been enabled. Uh, <clears throat> what is BBPS? To make, uh, you know, your phone uh, bills or cable bills, DTH bills, you can give the e-mandate. So e-mandate you can give ho. For NRIs, this facility is also available. NRIs ke liye bhi ye facility open kar di gai hai. PSL ka jo mein aapko bataya tha, uh, you can take the screenshot or you can directly go to RBA's website. I have directly taken it from RBA ki website 
टोटल टारगेट इज 40 परसेंट फॉर डोमेस्टिक कमर्शियल बैंक आर आर बी सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट दैट्स रियली रियली इंपॉर्टेंट एग्रीकल्चर का एटीन परसेंट ओके आउट ऑफ विच द टारगेट ऑफ टेन परसेंट इज फॉर स्मॉल एंड मार्जिनल फार्मर्स एटीन का टेन परसेंट नहीं है ठीक है एटीन में से टेन परसेंट स्मॉल एंड मार्जिनल फार्मर्स को देना है और आठ परसेंट बाकी आप uh, जो बचता है दूसरे फार्मर्स को दे सकते हो ठीक है सो प्लीज़ रिमेंबर दैट प्लीज़ नोट दैट माइक्रो इंटरप्राइज सेवन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट ऑफ ए एन बी सी और सी ओ बी ई वीकर सेक्शन ट्वेल्व परसेंट ठीक है ट्वेल्व आर आर बी के केस में फिफ्टीन परसेंट है ओके For urban cooperative banks, right now it is 40 percent, but eventually it will increase to 75 percent uh, by 31st of March 2024. It will increase to uh, 75 percent. So, phased manner, me target, jo hai, eventually 75 percent pe jayenge. Right now, I guess it's 50 percent. ठीक है. RBI prescribed revised norms to categorize urban cooperative banks. Uh, I I taught this topic like three four days back. सो आर बी आई केम अप विद दिस न्यू सर्कुलर ये नया सर्कुलर है अर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक्स की कैटेगरी है फाइनेंशियली साउंड एंड वेल मैनेज अर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक्स सो वॉट इज़ द क्राइटेरिया दैट शुड बी फुलफिल्ड बाय द अर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक टू बी यू नो टू बी टू बी कैटेगराइज एज अ फाइनेंशियली साउंड एंड वेल मैनेज बैंकिंग एंटिटी CRR आर आर शुड बी एट लीस्ट वन परसेंटेज पॉइंट अबव द मिनिमम सी आर ए आर एप्लीकेबल टू टू एन अर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक एन पी ए शुड नॉट बी मोर देन थ्री परसेंट नो डिफॉल्ट इन मेंटेनेंस ऑफ सी आर आर एस एल आर सी बी एस हैज़ बिन फुल्ली इम्प्लीमेंटेड एंड दीज आर द गाइडलाइंस ओके पूरा डिटेल एक दो और हैं कोई पेनल्टी नहीं लगी होनी चाहिए आर बी आई से सो या आई मीन पूरा डिटेल में आप सर्कुलर पढ़ लें कोर्स में अवेलेबल है ठीक है As per the latest urban cooperative bank categorization circular, so this circular is actually very very important. So if the deposit is up to hundred crore, or if the UCB is a unit UCB or a salary earner UCB, then it is a tier one UCB, urban cooperative bank. So deposit from hundred crore to thousand crore, it's a tier two urban cooperative bank. Deposit from thousand crore to ten thousand crore, it is a tier three urban cooperative bank. deposit for more than 10000 crore it is a tier 4 urban cooperative bank okay minimum net worth requirement for an urban cooperative bank operating in more than one district minimum net worth ka requirement kitna hai for an urban cooperative bank operating in more than one district is 5 crore kam se kam 5 crore ka net worth hona chahiye for an urban cooperative bank if it wants to operate in more than one district the minimum cra requirement for tier 2 to tier 4 see now students you can easily understand tier 2 tier 4 urban cooperative bank ye aapke samne bataya gaya hai this is a definition of urban cooperative banks tier wise categorization ho gaya hai now the, the guidelines the minimum cra requirement the net worth requirement are according to the tier of urban cooperative bank okay so minimum cra requirement uh, for tier 2 to tier 4 urban cooperative bank it's 12% it's 12% for tier 1 it is 9% for tier 2 to tier 4 it is 12% to isko yaad rakhein theek hai the rbi has asked banks to make enhanced disclosures related to material items in the uh, in their notes to accounts wherever any item under uh, head other liabilities uh <clears throat> other liabilities and provision and other assets uh exceed dash percent of total asset i mean if you read uh, the financial statement of a bank there are notes and in the notes there are uh, heads such as other liabilities and provision and other assets if the values of other assets or other liabilities is more than 1% if other asset is more than 1% of total asset then you have to uh, make enhanced disclosures you have to make enhanced disclosures for that so 1% se zyada then you need to make enhanced disclosure this is really really important rbi has decided to migrate central payment fraud system information registry cpfir Pay central payment fraud information registry as the name suggest via this mechanism non bank prepaid payment instrument and commercial banks they report fraud payments now rbi is migrating from this particular system what is the name of the new system 
इट्स दक्ष दक्ष इज अ नेम ऑफ न्यू सिस्टम एंड दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन बड़ा ही इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन है पेपर में आने के ब्राइट चांसेस हैं दिस वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया फॉर ऑफरिंग इंटरनेट बैंकिंग फैसिलिटी बाय एन आर आर बी सो आर बी हैज सेट एन एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया फॉर आर आर बीज टू ऑपरेट टू यू नो टू प्रोवाइड इंटरनेट बैंकिंग फैसिलिटी टू देर कस्टमर्स फुल्ली इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ कोर बैंकिंग सोल्यूशन एंड माइग्रेशन टू आई पी वी सिक्स कंप्लायंस विद मिनिमम सी आर ए आर रिक्वायरमेंट फ्राम टाइम टू टाइम मिनिमम नेटवर्थ ऑफ फिफ्टी क्रॉर्स इन द प्रीवियस फाइनेंशियल ईयर नेट एन पी ए ऑफ नॉट मोर देन फाइव परसेंट नेट प्रॉफिट इन द टू इमीजिएटली प्रोसीडिंग फाइनेंशियल ईयर्स नो डिफॉल्ट इन मेनटेनेंस ऑफ सी आर आर एस एल आर इन द प्रोसीडिंग फाइनेंशियल ईयर द बैंक शेल हैव आ सेटिसफैक्ट्री ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड ऑफ रेगुलेटरी कंप्लायंस नो पेनल्टी हैज बिन इम्पोज फॉर वायोलेशन ऑफ एनी आर बी आई गाइडलाइंस इन लास्ट टू ईयर्स and the bank has a strong internal control system by a cisa qualified independent auditor so these are the guidelines right so that was a short lecture <clears throat> i know you don't have that much time i want you to go through the crash course available on bankexamstudy.com we are providing complete coverage of the syllabus with the help of video classes notes test series quizzes uh please go through the psl lending wala video that is really really important according to me and i'm going to tell you the list of important topics tomorrow government schemes is very very important rbi circulars are very very important i'm repeating myself every day i repeat myself because these are the kind of questions you're going to find in the exam and you can easily crack the exam it's not a tough exam it's very easy okay uh, you will need my help at the time of interviews right now that much is sufficient go through the crash course the links are available in the description okay this is my personal whatsapp number so list of our successful students in 2022 we hardly get like 40 45 students and all these students took our course and they cracked their respective exams i'm really really happy for them all these students took our courses in the previous exams and they cracked their respective papers so it can be you right if there is any doubt in your mind please ask your questions and we are going to answer your doubts That's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye bye